She's nice. So, this is how it comes out to be. Uh, I moved the first time. I spot this same buck about 300 yards away. I sneak back in, get a look at him. He's about 350. It's a marginal push to shoot. He ends up being a big nine. I thought he was an eight. I leave again to go look in this other cornfield, see if there's any deer up there, because we'd only seen two deer today. Sure as heck, here he comes over the hill, right where I was just sitting. Cameraman, my bet, one of my best buds, Steve Fico, is behind the camera right now. I'm looking back at him hoping, geez, I hope he's awake because this deer's going to walk right on top of him. I'm almost yelling to stop this buck so I don't shoot Steve because he's kind of in between. He's The deer's starting to work in between Steve and I. So stop him about 80 yards from, I don't know, 80, 100 yards from me, probably 10 feet from Steve and put a real good shot on him. So he's down right here. Let's go take a look. Let me tell you what, I've been out here for 10 days, we've been bow hunting, Steve and I have been bow hunting. This is opening day Nebraska, I had seen a whopper buck in here yesterday. But I mean, how do you pass on this, This he's got split brows on one side, he's, he's going to go 150 probably, definite high 140s, old mature buck, he's definitely a four and a half year old deer. Oh, I just had to remember hold low, he came in so close, I just held it kind of towards the bottom of him. So. He went about, I don't know, he went probably 70 yards, fell over. Not sure how much of that Steve got on there, but he's got an acorn here on his main beam. He is a sweet buck. I even told Steve if he was a big 9 or 10, I'd probably take him. So, just happened to come out, and I got another look at him. I can't believe he didn't bust me. I just happened to look back right when he came out of that bedding area to the uh, back to the east. And uh, sure put it on a good one right there. That's Nebraska for you right there. There's some big deer in here. You just got to know where to look. So we're going to get Steve a big buck next, and uh, he's up to bat, and then we're going to go back into Kansas and try to get some of them weary whitetails that have been putting a slip on us. Some big deer in there too, but this is the best deer I've seen the whole trip, minus that big buck last, last night. So stay tuned, 
and uh, we're going to get into some more action. We're going to get Steve a good one.